Thursday morning. Ryder and I are headed down to start touring and then I gotta come back up and the kids and I have homework day because we both have stuff to do. So we're gonna work on schoolwork and we're gonna get that Christmas tree up. And maybe the rest of my Christmas decorations out of the garage. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. <sighs> Buddy, you ready to go? You ready to go? Oh goodness. <laughs> He's ready to go. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoy um, the next few weeks and daily vlogging with us for Vlogmas. Um, we have a lot of moving parts in different directions. I know like Saturday we're cutting wood. Um, I need to be preg checking. I have more diamond videos. We have to still wash and winterize some of the equipment. <laughs> so it's always something. Um, and I'm definitely going to try to share all those things with all of you. And who knows? What else? There's always something. <sighs> Good morning, Diamond Lou. Hi, pretty girl. You're such a good girl. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Are you hungry? Do some breakfast and let you out to romp and play while I get your stall cleaned out this morning. Yeah. And it will work for a little bit, maybe. See how much time I have. Yeah. What? Hey. In between the bounce back, which is this blue stuff, which is electrolytes, and the Draxin, maybe we'll make some headway this morning. Sit you right there. How about that? So I'm gonna give her a shot of Draxin this morning. She's still sort of perky. She's got okay eyes. She just got a bunch of drainage and a cold, and it's just getting worse. Want to drink your blue stuff this morning? She doesn't like it in this cup or in this ice cream bucket, so a lot of times I have to dump her water, get it in this tub, sister. You know, if you get up, this would be a little bit easier process. Come on. Drink up. So we'll repeat this process in about three hours with the bounce back. I'll also bring some more grain down for her and then Jason will help me get her up and get her walking around. She's just too heavy for me to do by myself. She's a good, almost, not quite triple my weight, so. Hey, good girl. I should drink all of that, so that's good. Yeah. We'll get you feeling better, won't we? Yes, not boogies. Not boogies. Not boogies. Not fun, is it? Never fun being sick. Yes. Goodness. She was trying to headbutt the dog yesterday, so. And that's what she's trying. I mean, that's. that She's trying here. Yeah, I know, girlfriend. It's not fun, is it? me walking back to the cattle barn because I forgot my cup. Got the boys back out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
School work, huh? Yeah. Well, that's part of life. Mom! Quick cheat meal today. Um, making leftovers noodles and a arm roast. So we're having like beef stew, kind of noodles and beef. Are we on what? Where'd you go this morning? Poet. What are we doing? Poet. Is this Walt Joyce or what? No, it's just... <laughs> This is what I have to deal with, guys. So, somebody ran to Poet this morning and picked us up. EDG, wet distillers. To make... Cow feed, cow chow. So we are adding extra protein to our cow's diet, using, utilizing the DDGs. Now we have to go find a tarp to make a makeshift bunk area over at the farm for this. So then we can get the Pinta out mm -hmm. huh, and talk about it. The Pinta. I like that Pinta. What track are you going to use over there? The 12 or what are you going to take? Mine? Well, You're going to add more hours to mine? What else you want to use? Well, I would use the 44. But, but it's got bad tires. Yeah. Add that to your tour list today. I used, I used 52 before? Yeah, I know, but that was when I wasn't using it every day during hay season. That, that should be a 540 GTO. I don't know. Get our daily exercise for the day. Walking. Trotting. <laughs> Um, it's wet DDG, it's processed corn, um, mash more or less, it is warm, it's, I mean, cows are going to go crazy over this, so this adds a lot more um, protein to their mix of their diet, so think like cornbread, like that's what it reminds me of. So what he's in doing is running a line to the battery to run the scale. Yeah, it says hello. It's a beast.
Okay. At least we caught it at home. This has been an all day process. All day. We might get to feed sometime. At some point. It'll go better tomorrow. It's always the first day of everything that goes a little bit chaotic. What are you doing? Are you hiding? things done. <laughs> so what this does is just think of it as a giant kitchen aid mixer. We're going to drop some hay in it. It's going to chop it up, um, kind of make it small pieces, and then we'll add in the DDG to kind of help stick it together. We are going to use some, oops, <laughs> uh, we are going to use some Indian grass that technically doesn't hold a lot of nutrition value and the cows wouldn't typically eat it if we just laid it out on the ground for them. So we're gonna put that in there and make this uh, mix.
extra on the ground, picking through what their favorite parts are. Of course, that's a bedding bale. Some hungry babies. Eat up, ladies, eat up. Is it good stuff? He's gonna bring that one because she's off by herself. All right, down, rider. Right good boy. So what the good thing is with this Penta, this chopper, it will take a mediocre bale that they probably wouldn't normally eat. Add it with a little bit of distilleries, the wet distillery. Uh, you can call it cake, wet cake, uh, DDGs. Um, mix it in there with a good bale and you've got some heck of some good cow feed. Depending on your cows, um, where they are at in maturity age, um, whether they're lactating, breeding, uh, you may need to add a balancer in. You'll just need to talk with your nutritionist. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff, ladies. If you like today's Vlogmas video, make sure to hit like, share, leave me a comment, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.